Hi. Hello. Hi, Geza. How are you? <laughs> yeah, fine, thanks. Good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you as well. So tell us a little bit about how things are going since the last protest you did in, uh, in London. Yeah. So how's it going? Uh, well, we carried it on. Uh, what we've done previously, we've done each Wednesday uh, for the previous three weeks, one in Southampton, one in uh, Oxford, then in Bristol, then we did London. The following week, we did Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so we did boom, 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 straight in. Uh, uh, and I've done different tasks as well, but the response we've had, parents are just, they're just absolutely uh, horrified that our government, they cannot believe that our government, a British government, would do something like this. Uh, the good news is, uh, the reason I'm a bit late tonight is we've been past Oxford, uh, and it looks like they've mothballed that section. There's like a, a mobile unit, if you will. It looks like it's been mothballed. So if we've managed to close that down, I don't know. We're not, not definitely sure. Uh, that's, that's a win. You know, it's, it's a start. Uh, we've also given all the information now to all the, doc all, all the professors. So Professor uh, Sol Faust at Southampton has had the full pack with all the information in there, contact details. Uh, his secretary has got in contact with me, so maybe we may have, it, have it ending to you next week. Who knows? Uh, in uh, Oxford, we've again uh, emailed the pack there because we didn't go in this Wednesday. Couldn't afford it. We're, up, we're running on vapour at the moment, so anybody's got any donations, we are literally running on vapour. So we could make October, uh, 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 Oxford, but we've been there today, so we, and we also made a point of going into the hospital. We couldn't do both. We couldn't do both. Sure. Uh, and then on Friday, we went to Bristol again, and again, left a full pack down there as well. So on okay. Monday, what we're doing is on Monday, we're back again. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got a lot of people getting in contact. We've got a lot of people that want to make it down. There's, there's, somebody, there's people in Wales, people in Devon, uh, in partic two particular places that I know that you know maybe have a bus to, to try and get through, uh, and obviously other places around the country. But they're two, okay, can two I key stop ones. You there a sec? Sorry, Geza. So you said Monday. Um, I, th I, I thought the protest was on the 20th. 20th is Monday. Is it? I thought it was Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monday the 20th. I know that because my, face, my Facebook fan is up on that day, so we can do a live feed on that one. Oh, that, that's the reason I chose it. Okay. Uh, so it's outside so Downing Street. It's at okay, 12 o'clock. Sorry, before we talk about that, can you tell us what's in the packs that you're giving to these professors? What's actually in the packs? It's, the, it's all the questions that I've been asking them. It's the information from our doctors uh, and scientists that we've got from here, you know, from... Uh, Vernon Coleman, uh, from uh, Mikovits, and other doctors, brave doctors that are speaking out now. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, the, in the case of uh, uh, Adam Hill, he did an article, two articles, in The Guardian 20 years ago. So I'm literally making him eat his own words, because the things that were happening then are happening now. But he's in a different position now. Right. So what he's doing is making him eat his words, yeah? Yes. He can't be saying that then and then be completely different now. And he's key, really, to what we're doing. So he's at Bristol University. Now, what we want to do is, though we're empowering parents, we want parents to come down. The reason we want so many parents to come down is because we want to empower our words. We want to empower and give a platform to our scientists and our doctors. Mm -hmm. Because if we do that, then we're going to force our doctors onto the table of SAGE and the government experts. And it's key now that we absolutely disprove what they are doing. And once we disprove that, then we're going onto the gates and the World Health Organization. We know that this is a lie. We know people aren't dropping like flies. So what we're doing now is, is, is the next step. Everything I'm doing is steps. We can't have a plan because we haven't got the resources of what the government got. You know, we haven't got the technology. We haven't got the funds what the government have got. You know, for God's sake, they've got billionaires on their side. And they're, you know, they're lying in the pockets. But we're not willing to do that. That makes it a lot harder for us. So we've got to build up slowly. But time is not on our side. We need to do it in summer. Fantastic. And we're winning. We've got <laughs> hey, power without very strong, isn't it? We Thank saw that in, Ox in Oxford today. There was a group of people down there today speaking to the public. And they're all speaking with one voice. You know, and it was amazing. 
Number one is all the shops are full. You know, all the, the walkways and everything in Oxford, we're all full. Pathways each way. Uh, it, where do we go? West World or something like that. West West District or something it was called. Uh, and uh, nobody wearing masks. You know, the odd person wearing masks. Yeah. So that is a signal to this government. You know, Boris Johnson now, it, 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 he is running his head. There's no two ways about it. All the information is coming out. Eventually, all the whistleblowers, all the doctors and the nurses and the experts in the NHS, well, they're already coming out now. They're just too scared. Well, now we empower them. And how we do them is give a platform. Once that ball starts rolling, there is no way that Boris Johnson or Matt Hancock will be able to shut them up. But we have to give them our trust and our energy to make sure that they get a voice. Because their voice is our voice. They're the experts and they'll take them on. I, if I can take on the experts and have them running, you know, our doctors and experts can get them running and we'll bring this government down. Okay, wonderful. Okay, well, you've got a poster because I know someone said last time it would be good to have a poster. So could we see the poster? Yeah, the so it's the, it's the, like okay. I said, it's the, I'm not a graphic designer. Everything I'm doing is, uh, <laughs> is the best that. I can do. <laughs> Just turn up, 20th of July, midday, parent power, 10 Downing Street. They're testing the COVID-19 vaccine on children. When is enough enough? That's fantastic. So just put that uh, down a little bit. So all you have to do oh, is- Oh, down a bit, sorry. But down a little bit so you can see the date and just turn up. Yeah. July, midday, guys. Uh, parent yeah. power, hashtag parent power on Twitter. 10 Downing Street, turn up in your droves and say, no, no, you're not going to do this anymore. That's fantastic, Geza. Thank you. Why it's so important that it's parents and the sane amongst us. So it's the parents and the sane amongst mm -hmm. us. The mm -hmm. reason it's so important is because we will fight to the death to protect our children. But the, the thing, the beauty of it being parents is there is no divide. Whatever political party, you're a parent. Whatever race you are, you're a parent. Whatever religion, you're a parent. It's parent power. And the and thing is, they cannot children. take that on. We love our children. We do love our children. We and our government children. don't. Yeah. So anyway, is there anything, how, how are you getting on with that? Are you going to be picking people up? Have you got coaches or how, how, orga how organized? This is, this is, this is literally. To London? How are they going to get to London? Everybody has to get to London. You see, the thing is, when I've been working with these groups in the past, groups like Frackoff have got all these funds because they're controlled. So they can put coaches on and get them there. The unions yeah. can get coaches there. We can't work like that. You've got to get there. There's no excuses. We haven't got a coach on because that's what they count on. You have to get, just turn up. That's all I can say. Just turn up. Turn up. There's no okay. magic wand. I haven't got funds. I can't put coaches on. Just turn up because your kids, yes. it's on the line. All right? So you get the trend. You get energy. Energy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry? Everybody had the energy that you have. Our world would just be such an incredible... Well, we have now. That we have, and they will be there. Now, remember, this is just the next step. This will be the second time. What we learn from this time, we take to the 27th. I'm back again seven days later, and we'll give an update. Right. And hopefully, to, hopefully this Monday, we will get a doctor. We will get a doctor, we will get an expert or a scientist to speak on the platform so that's they can speak. Good. All right, and then we move on. Okay, we'll move on. have you and that's got what everything doing. you need this time? Have you got your speaker? Uh, we've got the PA system. Yeah, you've the PA everything. system. We still need an inverter. Uh, right. Get this. You've got to, this. You say this w weird things going on. Uh, you know how long I've been looking for an inverter and trying to get yeah. funds in for an inverter, right? We're only looking for about you know less than a hundred quid to try and get an inverter. When we went to London the first time, as we was driving in, they were all eating and having the toilet break before they went. And I kid you not, I'm looking at this thing. We're going to see if we can pick it up on the way. Uh, in, the, in the garage, in the service station, there was an inverter right there in front oh, of my house. Oh, you see? Go oh, you know how long I've been looking for it. Could not, I just went. It was a 2,000 watt inverter as well. So it's That's way more incredible. than what we need. But, but then hopefully it's still there. We'll try and pick it up. So I, I am not counting on that. But if anybody out there can still get an inverter for us, I will be absolutely grateful. Okay. All right? Let's okay. not leave How it to do, chance. Thank you, Geza. How do people get in touch with you? Uh, 07517 245 113. I'll do it again. 
07-517-245-113. Fantastic. So guys, if you want to do anything to help Geza for the 20th of July, high noon <laughs> in Downing Street, to end this once and for all, or to go on to the next step, I think that's so incredible the way you're doing it as steps, because then you're definitely- You have to do it, yeah. You go. You get one step, then another. Each time you do a step, you achieve it. So thanks so much, Geza. This is going to go on now as soon as possible. Send it everywhere so we can get you more and more people. Lots of love. And I'll see and what you. What do we do? We say, we just together. turn up. Just turn up. That's just all you up. have to do. And bring the kids, bring the family, bring grandma and granddad. We have to show that it's the families of this country that mm -hmm. are fighting for their kids. We protect our kids, we protect our own.